So we've got a graph of 1 over x squared. Do you remember what you called that graph last year when you, did you have a special name for it? Volcano. The volcano, did anybody recall that one, the volcano? We got like the asymptote, usually the asymptotes are drawn in red, right? So it looks like lava blowing out of the top of the volcano, very exciting. Um, so now we can take volcanoes and we can move them, very exciting. If you, you know, you could go home today and parents ask, well, what did you learn in math today? Well, we moved volcanoes, and uh, that would be very exciting. Um, I'm going to just rewrite this one by putting the 3 on the other side, because that's sort of how we've been doing most of these to get used to them. Again, our original graph right here in red was 1 over x squared. So you have to look at the blue graph there and say what's different. What's the same? What's different? I hope you can see that the only thing different is that plus 3. Then you have to decide, did that plus 3 happen where the x was originally? Right? The x originally is getting squared on the bottom. Or did it happen afterwards? And it's pretty obvious that the 3 is not being squared, so it's happening afterwards. And for part A here, all that would do when we describe it, that would say that the graph of y equals 1 over x squared would be translated three units up. The equations of the asymptotes, and they're done in green here, but we'll label them on the original graph. We have one here. This asymptote, you could label it y equals 0 on your original graph. This asymptote would be labeled at x equals 0. If you translated the whole graph up three times, those asymptotes would get translated as well. So we have to say, well, what would happen to the one at y equals 0? It would get moved to, and we'll just write it down here, what are our new asymptotes? It would get moved to y equals 3. What would happen to the vertical one at x equals 0 if you moved it up? It's going to stay the same. So the other one would be at x equals 0. Part B I'll do in black here. Just rewrite it. By moving that 4 over. And the hardest part is the recognition. Okay? If you you have to see that this is basically the same kind of graph as the original one in red because we have a 1 over and then something being squared. The difference now is in the highlighted yellow part, we now have an x plus 3 instead of just an x. So that's going to move it to the left 3 units. And we still have a minus 4 afterwards. So that's going to move it down 4. So for B, the graph of y equals 1 over x squared would be translated 3 left and 4 down. Going 3 to the left and 4 down. Well, the 4 down will change your y asymptote from y equals 0 
down 4 to y equals negative 4. And moving it 3 to the left will change your asymptote at x equals 0 to x equals negative 3. Sixteen and seventeen are the ones that you could do from there. <coughs> 